Tea Quilters. It's T with Tea Quilts, and today is Wednesday, March 27th, 2024, and it is 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, and we're here for one hour live chat. So if you got any questions, you can put them into the description, in the chat box, not the description box, the chat box, and I will answer them. In the interim, I'm going to be finishing up the last five of my Wensleydale blocks. And i also show you the one item I bought at the quilt show that we went to this weekend. So we're just going to give people a chance to get notifications so that they can come in. And then we can get started, okay? So, I came in about two to three minutes early. So people could get notifications. <clears throat> not it I'm sitting here thinking I still need to finish my string blocks I'm over halfway done but I'm not sure I've lost count I'm sure I wrote it on the back of one of the blocks so I need to figure out how many blocks I still need for the string blocks I've been working on so yeah so while we're waiting for people to come in I'm gonna go ahead and read who's here already we've got Sue Allen so she's going to dinner <laughs> awesome awesome i was trying to think no i didn't go out to dinner i haven't been out my house since sunday jason and i went to red robin after the quilt show and i haven't been back well i've, I've been out the house today because i went to drop off packages but other than that i haven't been out the house packages and then i went to sam's <laughs> um today diane mccoy is here maddie barnum janine pfeiffer francis jackson becky bramlett so she's crocheting as usual <laughs> that is awesome michelle the quilter is here she says your hair looks pretty i'm still trying to make it to the wash day I thought about it today when I was showering, and I'm going, I don't feel like it. <laughs> so I'll do it tomorrow. I bought a new blow dryer. I want to see what it does to my hair. So I, I do want to wash it soon so I can do that. Beverly Aikens is here. Sandy Agger. Hey, Sandy. Welcome on time, girl. Deborah Sims Brown. And Zandra is also here. So we're just giving people like one more minute. It's about one minute after seven now. So just giving people that do receive the notifications a chance to come in. Hey, Bonita Nance. <laughs> she just came in. And Brenda Foley. Hi, Brenda. So welcome, welcome, everybody. I appreciate you all coming in here on your Wednesday evening to spend with me. I am tired today, but I've been busy. I'll talk about that in a little bit. Emily Zahoot is here saying, Hi, Miss T. Lovely to see you at midnight here. Yes, that's what I was going to say because noon is a better time for you. So thank you for uh, being in here for a bit. Deb S. is here. She says it's 801, so she's in the North Carolina mountains. She's on the East Coast. Uh, Brenda Jackson's from Long Island, so she's got the same time. And Diane McCoy is back. I thought I read her name already. And uh, Joe Cormell, uh, Quilts by Cormell, is also in here saying hi to everybody. So welcome, everybody. Um, just quick thing about what I did this weekend on Sunday. We talked about this Saturday doing the live chat on Saturday night. Uh, Jason and I, and then we met uh, Betsy, who's latent in the chat. Uh, she was also there, and we met, I saw Sue GSD, and we saw she, uh, Sherry was there with her brother, so that was cool. I'm trying to think anybody else that's on the T-Quilts platform was there. Um... No, I met some other quilters that was either had been in my Big Quilt Guild or are members of the quilt, Big Quilt Guild. 
uh, met a few of them there. Met a lot of people from other quilt guilds that were that I had been at their guilds doing a presentation or something like that. So, um, just making sure no other comments are in that I need to um, talk about. But yeah, so had a great time at the quilt show. More comments. Uh, Stephanie Harris. Welcome, Stephanie. She's here. So we went, the show was our from our modern quilt gill in St. Louis. And uh, I went on Sunday. They were open from 11 to 4. I think about 2.30, my feet got hurt started hurting from standing on the concrete i had never sat down the whole time i was there and uh jason also was tired so we ended up leaving early but i didn't even get to see all the quilts it was so many people they kept stopping us to talk and chat and then trying to videotape some of the quilts too i never went into the vending spaces i talked to one of the local quilt shops about bringing the tea quilters there i then went into one other quilt shop that was this new one and i no it wasn't it wasn't new i was surprised that they were there because i thought they were somebody else i thought when i saw uh it was warm and cozy when i saw them for some reason i was thinking about warm and natural like girl please because <laughs> yeah i got something i want to uh do with warm and natural um, but I went in there and then I found some fabric that I could use for my dress and village. So I'll be showing you that. So I didn't spend a whole lot of money. Again, this was the modern quilt, um, the St. Louis modern quilt guild quilt show. Um, I wonder if you have to go through them to be, to be an official modern quilt guild or something. It seems kind of weird because... Uh, they got St. Louis Modern Quilt Guild in front of, and instead of, you know, when we go to the big show, it's the Modern Quilt Guild. It's still a guild, so it's kind of weird. But they had, oh, this is uh, information about another quilt show that I picked up, Hannibal Peacemakers in Hannibal, Missouri. They're having a quilt show April 5 and 6, 2024. It's on a Friday and Saturday. Friday is 9 to 4, Saturday is 9 to 2, $5 admission. So it's at the Admiral Kuntz Armory uh, on Barrett Drive. No, Warren Barrett Drive in Hannibal. 301 Warren Barrett Drive in Hannibal for those in the area that might want to attend. And I saw, I talked to a lady. I didn't buy anything from her. Cindy's nif Nifty Stitches. She had a drawing, and we were talking with them. They're in Missouri, in Hannibal, if I'm not mistaken. It's not written on here, but she doesn't have, she doesn't have, like, um, a store. I think she uses, like, a shed or something like that. I don't know, or her basement. It's part of her home, some kind of way. So she doesn't have a store, so she does more online stuff, and then she, um... She, she's doing Quilt Gills uh, shows. So I got her information. It won't work for me this year, but maybe in one of my future retreats, I got her information because, you know, if I'm bringing like a busload of people, maybe she might want to open up and, you know, instead of her packing up to go to the gill, we can just come to her with a bus, maybe drop us off around the corner, whatever we need to do. And then, you know, she can set up a space even if it's outside because it is June. When I have the tea quilts retreats, June, July, it's summertime. Let me say that because it's going to be some changes with that because of date availability. But I thought I would keep her information for that. So that's why I have her information. And then I also saw that the Modern Quilt Gill had um, stickers. So I'm going to figure out, you know, stickers are getting really popular with the quilters. They've been popular with like nomads and other type companies, but I have been giving, putting stickers on my products. I went and ordered more stickers. So now I have like four different types of stickers. And so I wanted to go ahead and get one of their stickers. I have the stickers from 
Uh, when I went on Hawaiian cruise, one of the instructors had a sticker, so I'm going to use my sticker. So right now I have six stickers that I'm aware of, <laughs> and I think I'm going to, if anybody has cool stickers, especially if they're free, if I have to pay for them, I'll think about it if I really like it. But for the most part, I'm going to figure out something to make me some kind of a sticker board or something. So I thought that was cool. I don't want to put that down there because we don't want to lose it. And then also the Modern Quilt Gill. Somebody donated these scissors to them. Um, and so they were just giving them away. I'm just going to show you what they look like. And they were just giving them away. All of the free giveaway stuff was over by the charity quilt. So if you didn't go over and talk to them at the charity place, you didn't know that this stuff was available. I wasn't, uh, I asked the check-in people if they had stickers and they re told me to go over there because I wouldn't have gone over to the charity spot either. But they do a lot of different types of charity projects. Every year they do something different. So they had like the last four or five years, they had like photo boards of what they did and gave away each year. So I thought that was really interesting as well. So let's see. Oops. I'll put this over there so I don't forget to pick it up on my way out. The only thing that I bought from a Warm and Cozy Quilting, and I'm going to leave it in the pack for right now because I think you can see it. Uh, all the I bought these uh, fabrics here. It has 24 11 by 22 inch pieces. And what they do, and it's, I thought I could just use this for my dress in village because I didn't want to use white tone on tones and things like that. And uh, I figured this might make it so that I don't have to do as much work trying to figure out what I'm going to use. Now, I got about, probably about 75 to 100, you know, back, light background fabrics in my stash. But these are already cut, ready to go, Okay. So what they do, they do a little bit something different. They don't sell layer cakes. What they do is they give you a piece of fabric that's 11 by 22, which is 11 inches, and then half of the yardage. And the reason they do that is for people that want to starch their fabric before they cut, whereas if you buy a layer cake at 10 inches, there is no way you can starch your fabric and still come out and get your 10 inches on on all manufacturers okay i'm just going to tell you that you're going to have a mess so what they do instead of selling layer cakes they make their own packaging of fabrics now and they call it the starchable and trimmable pre-cut and so when you cut these up i'll have 48 squares if i wanted to starch them wash them whatever i wanted to do i've got enough room that i can cut my fabric out and warm and cozy is in columbia illinois which is let me see maybe 40 minutes from my house i'm so i'm right on the line of how highway 70 runs in from illinois and so i live by all the major highways i can get to them very easy from where i live and so it doesn't take me long to shop in illinois i do shop in illinois for convenience but the main reason i don't do like big expensive shopping in illinois is because of taxes they have higher tax rates than we have in missouri especially like gasoline even their sales tax is higher so but they don't charge property tax which we do charge in missouri so it's like you half of one you know the other half of the other okay so uh, but I, a lot of people from Illinois come over to Missouri to buy gas that live close. They don't buy gas in Illinois unless they'll buy enough to get back to Missouri to get some gas. A lot of people in on that's close to Illinois, they do work in Missouri. And some people that's close to Missouri work in Illinois. So, yeah. But that's all I bought. I was really proud of myself. That thing was about... It has a price tag on it. Don't let me make up stuff. Um... It was more than I wanted to spend. It was $57 for this uh, pack of 24 pieces. However, they did have it on sale for 26, 20% 20 off, not 26, 20% 20 off. So you do the math and you figure out how much it costs. I know I pay 40 something dollars with taxes. Okay. So that's what I bought. I was, 
I didn't even look. We talked to uh, Jackman's too because I talked to them, uh, telling them that I was gonna come to the uh, to their place too. So um, other than that, we really didn't even have time to look at vendors and go into vendors and stuff like that. And Jason had an ulterior motive for going into this place, and he also shops there, so he um, knew that they had those fabric kits. And when I saw that, I go, well, that's what I need. So I only bought what I need to save myself some time this week. And Jason's in here now. Hey, Jason. Uh, let's see. Vivian Calvi, T. Roberts, Sheila Willis. Uh, uh, Betsy says she bought jewelry at the quilt show. Okay, I didn't even look, girl. Uh, Dizzy. One, oh, the lady at the quilt gear, her and her husband, they made necklaces. I didn't even go look. I should have went and looked. Dizzy is here, Annette J. Uh, and she's telling Jason happy belated birthday. Happy belated birthday, Jason. I think, I don't know if he's on my birthday list for March. I don't even know if he's on the list. But I have taken care of Jason early. <laughs> so um, I wasn't paying attention to the calendar. And Kevin, the quilter, if you're listening, you owe Jason lunch. <laughs> uh, um. Thank you, Sandy. I like the fabric. Um, I think Jason's talking to somebody else. George Sterling is here saying, good evening, Miss TNT Quilters. Nice fabric. Yep. Ha ha. He talking about ha ha about Kevin. I told him, I said, you better tell Kevin when we were at Scrap Club, because we use Scrap Club. In the month that we go out, we'll go out and eat after Scrap Club someplace. Well, we got one place that we like. We've been going there. We like the place. So we've been doing our birthday lunches there. And uh, Kevin wasn't there uh, last Saturday. So I told him, Kevin owes you lunch, okay? I'm covered. <laughs> Lizette Zayas is here and Melissa LePage. Welcome, welcome. So next thing up. On this board here, <laughs> on this board here, I got all my cards for charging on here, y'all. So, I found three more blocks. <laughs> so, I kind I kept trying to figure out why did I need seven. Then I found two, remember? And then I was like, I thought I only needed three. Well, it ended up I only need two. I found these blocks. I got a... A, a shelf right under my desk and it holds like my piecing thread like my big spools of piecing thread uh notions that i need that are like big notions that don't go in here in my uh pin cushion cube all my any notions like stuff that you pull stuff through oh it's everything it's up under my desk okay so, I'm down here. I've already cut three of these out, knowing that I need five blocks. So, I had five rectangles up here for the centers so that I could start cutting my pieces. I had, uh, let's see, Monday and Tuesday, I was cutting for kit orders that I got. And I keep forgetting to go on my website and cancel them. I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to start refunding money because <laughs> right now I don't have any more time to cut kits. So I spent two days cutting kits. I had like an order for four kits and two jelly rolls in, in the fabric that wasn't already cut. So I ended up having one of the kits. I ended up taking one of my kits that I had already used as a demo to show somebody how to shuffle their uh, African shuffle take five. But, you know, money is good, but right now I don't have time to cut kits. So anything else, I'll give people the choice. You want me to cancel your order, send your money back, or you want to wait until I get some time. So I don't even know when that time is. But I got like a list of things I got to do right now. But anyway, I was cutting Monday and Tuesday, so... I had scraps, so I said, come in here and use those scraps to cut out these pieces. So that's what I did. 
um, come in here and I dropped one of my templates. And the template dropped where it went under the little desk I have in front. How come when I go down there, I had already cut these three. And then when I go down there to get my template, I go down there and I find three more of these blocks. So I did go up under there on my hands and knees, making sure there was nothing else down there. I didn't see it, but I still have a feeling that wherever the extra two blocks are now, I'm only missing two. That wherever the extra two blocks are, I'm sure they're going to show up as soon as I piece all of this together. But I want to be caught up by the end of this month. So I'm going to finish off what's on my board. So I basically have three centers. So then I have, I already had extra rectangles cut. So I didn't even have to cut these. So I cut these rectangles. In addition to that, I found these four pieces. So this can go with one of these blocks and then no it goes on this block goes on the on this size and then I found where I must have cut eight of these by mistake because I got one two three four five six seven but I only found eight pieces but that's good because um I still can just use these it doesn't matter so I'll, I'll be using these on the next round. So what I got to do is start sewing these to make them this size. And then I went ahead and cut out the second round and then the third round. And then I'll be caught up with everything. And then um, the final round is one big template. I've already taken it out. This is for Wensleydale in case I haven't said that. <laughs> Most people know what I'm working on. Uh-oh, I didn't go back to the bottom, y'all. Um, hi, Darcy Savelli. So we have just this one last template that we'll have to we'll have to use when I get to the uh, and we're nearing the end. And this one does have a front and a back. So if your fabric has a front and a back side, you need to make sure you reverse the template. So this is what Wensleydale look like for all the new people that don't know what Wensleydale looks like by Jen Kingwell, just so you can see it. It just looks, um, well, let me back up. Not it, just All of, to me, all of Jen Kingwell's quilts look like old antique quilts to me. Uh, she's out of Australia. So maybe they had different types of blocks and things than the traditional, like in the USA, we mostly either had one block that we repeated um, that had some kind of space to it, whereas in her blocks doesn't do that. Or we had sampler quilts that um, we did multiple blocks, but then we do some kind of sashing setting that we would use for our sampler quilts. So... Um, it kind of just reminds me of old, her patterns of old antique type quilts. And so um, I just like them. And then you can, all of them are made to use scrappy. So you don't even ever have to go buy any fabric to make any of her quilts if you don't want to. Of course we will and we do. <laughs> all right, let's see who else came in here. I saw Dorsey, we got Paula S. Um... Uh, <laughs> Jason, tell me, well, look at, look at God. You found three more blocks, right? <laughs> uh, Lenora Brown is here. Hello, Lenora. Welcome to the chat. Sharon Lewis. And Lady Crafts. Uh, Becky says, T, you sound like me. I want this Afghan done before Georgia decides that it's hot weather. Right. This thing will kill me. Right. I just want to get I want to get the blocks caught up and then I need to sit down and figure out how I'm going to set them. I need that's why I need them all done. Hey Mary F, welcome to the chat lady. June Hansen is here. Welcome also. Yay. <laughs> all right. So that's what I'm going to be sewing. I'm going to be catching up these um two blocks here that are on my board and then i'm going to be 
as I'm moving along, I know you can't see them all, but, you know, I got to read the chat somewhere. Ugh. I don't know where to put it. <laughs> Let me see if I can tilt it down a little. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and just cut this iron on if I'm just so it'll be there. I don't know when I'm going to need it. So, yeah, I'm sure that uh, the other two blocks, I checked all my other two places. I found the extra block that Kevin had given me. And then I found, uh-oh, uh my thread just broke. I did uh, oil my machine, but I didn't, um, I probably should have rethreaded it after I did that, and I did not. So let's see. Get all of these threads off of here. Okay. Okay. I can't, if I can catch it, I will. I oiled this machine about an hour ago, and then I went to go debone some chicken. I went to Sam's to go get um, uh, a rotisserie chicken so I wouldn't have to do it myself or boil a chicken because I want to make some chicken uh, meals. Um, so I went in there to buy rotisserie chicken and some vegetables. I needed onions and green peppers. How come I walk out of that place Spent about $150. I got milk, and I'm like, okay, you can justify milk. I might make a cake. I'm not sure. Um, What else? I did get some fruits and some other vegetables. I got potatoes and carrots, which can go in my rice. Making some uh, chicken and rice soup. Uh, what else? Um, hmm. Oh, the snack aisle. I went in there hungry. I still haven't eaten anything today. That's what got me. Do not shop hungry. Went into the snack aisle. And you know, Sam's don't sell anything that's not, uh, you know, it's all book, right? So, yeah. So, I'll be making little snack bags so I don't sit here and eat all this stuff. I'll be making, like, little snack containers that I'll take to some of the kid houses in my family. Sometimes uh, my mom has a little, uh, some little kids, I think it's three of them still, that live across the street from her. They live with the grandmama and the daughter lives with the mother with her three children. So sometimes I like to just take stuff over there for the, for the children to let them know, you know. Other people love you too. So let's see. I like to lay these out. Because. Um, I don't know why I got these first though. Um, I like to lay these out so I know what's right side up on my, some of my fabrics. It makes a difference. Some of them it doesn't. I don't even know why I'm messing with that. I guess I can do it to chain piece off, I guess. Yep. So, um, my phone keeps not being at the bottom. Did you learn how to do Hawaiian applique on your trip? I have done Hawaiian applique. I didn't need to learn how to do it. Uh, it was not offered as a class. But I do know how to do Hawaiian applique. I just did not. I've uh, taken uh, taken one actually from Stacy Michelle. Is that? I think that's her last name. Marty Michelle. I think her daughter name is Stacy Michelle. So I've actually taken a class from her at a quilt retreat, a local quilt retreat. So I got uh, some, a few extra pieces on the board, not many, 
because I was just I was just starting to cut and then I found a block so I got like enough to do one extra center on here so we won't be using that one right now but yeah, I, uh, I already know how, so I didn't have to take that class. Even if it was offered, I wouldn't have taken it because I've already had that and know how to do that. Uh, Jacqueline Mason is here. She says, glad to see you, Miss T. Welcome, you too. Welcome to the live chat, ma'am. Sue says, hello, T and fellow quilter. Sorry, I'm late. 90 long days until the best retreat ever. Now, OM to the G, because that means on Saturday, she'll be saying 80 something days, like 87 days. <laughs> and then I'm going to be starting to get stressed when it gets, you know, to that smaller number. But I'm almost ready. I think I'm almost ready. If it happened tomorrow, you would never know anything was missing. Let's just say that. I got that much done. Well, a few people would know because you see this right here. I'm going to tell y'all the people that are coming to T-Quilts Retreat that came in 2022. Don't forget your name badge. Otherwise, you're going to have a, a little sticky. Hello, my name is. <laughs> okay. Make sure that you know where your name badge is. That's why I put mine right here. So it, it's in every video. <laughs> Okay, make sure you know where your name badge is. I'm only making name badges for new people. That's what I haven't done. That needs to be done 100%. And Zandra talking about, that's all, you did good. Yeah, I told you I bought one thing. I spent 40 something dollars at the show and I bought, they had two raffle quilts. You could buy a ticket for a dollar or you can get five tickets, no six tickets for five dollars i bought one ticket and they didn't call me you know what i'm saying i told them people i was winning but i didn't get any phone call so i didn't win the raffle quilt i'm like all i gotta do is be in there to win i don't need six tickets so i did not do that so they got i spent ten dollars because i think it was eight dollars admission two dollars for the tickets and then whatever i spent 40 something dollars for the fabric with the discount and tax <laughs> Holly Duvall is here. Hey, welcome back, Holly. Mary says, T, what snacks did you buy? Girl, don't be trying to shame me on this screen. It's, I'm a carb lover. I am not a sweet person. That's why you don't ever hear me talking about uh, desserts. Um, I bought uh, Cheez-It snacks. Uh, the little, And I bought them in the bags. So you get the garlic ones and the regular Cheez-Its. And pretzels because i haven't had them in a long time since probably over since hollow maybe halloween i may have bought them i don't know i don't remember buying them halloween but it's been a long time since i had those so i bought pretzels i bought microwave popcorn because i was out of everything in this house for like the last month and i've been craving microwave popcorn for some reason so box of popcorn and then in the snack box, snack, a uh, snack bag aisle, I bought um, ruffles, just plain ruffles chips, and then Fritos, the chili cheese uh, bag. So yeah, I was bad. I was just bad. I don't have to worry about a snack. <laughs> Now, the good thing was I bought as I was starving. However, I came home and I didn't eat any of it. So I'm proud of myself. I have not uh, gone into it and acted a fool. Yes, I did. I ate a bag of pretzels. Isn't that something? I ate one bag of pretzels. So that's not bad. That's all I've eaten today. And then I also made sure that I got some fruit. Um, they, the fruit didn't look good overall, but I got bananas strawberries and grapefruit so i did get um uh, fruit i was telling you all what i bought and then stopped didn't i because i couldn't remember i, I have crs <laughs> um um trying to think did i go anywhere else in that store
onions and bell peppers and carrots and milk. I think that's it. Yeah, I was bad. But I didn't come home and binge eat it, so that's good. Uh, Melissa Make Quilts is here. No, she's... Yeah, I thought I read her name. Maybe I didn't. Melody Kiefer is here. Minnie Dula. Thank you, T. Robert, saying her rinse page. She hit the thumbs up button. Thank you, thank you. She's saying, FYI, I'm off the Monday before, so if you need an extra hand, I'm here for you. Monday, I think my daughter is going to be here. I got one person that's helping me with retreats going to be here, hopefully. And we're going to pack up. Uh, as much of the stuff into, I'm renting a U-Haul trailer so that I can uh, pack up like boxes and containers easily into that and then use the cars for the stuff that, you know, might get easily damaged. So I'm trying to pack up any boxes and plastic containers, all of that stuff will be boxed up. Um, I brought the big board last time, so I'll be bringing that. Hold on, guys. Something... I had eat, I, I ate a couple of carrots because I took the carrots out. I'm about to make my soup when I get off this live. So I pull some stuff out to get it room temp. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, I think I might have enough help. But if I need more soup, I'll let you, I'll let you know. But Nita says I'm going to move mine into my traveling sewing machine case. So she's. <laughs> So she's getting ready. She's starting to pack up. She's coming to another retreat here as well. Uh, Vivian's reminding people to hit the thumbs up button. Thank you, ma'am. I appreciate it. Um, Jason, you know you didn't win that quilt. Talking about, I guess I won't be sharing the quilt with you laughing out loud. Yeah, you laughing because you know you don't have that quilt. And Mary says, I don't dare buy chips. Yeah, girl, I went in there and bought, it's all carbs, but I did go back and get, and fruit is carbs too, but I did go back and get banana and strawberries because um, I use some frozen fruit for my smoothie because I use it instead of ice. But I do like fresh fruits in my smoothie, so that's why I got that. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Doris is reminding people to hit the thumbs up button. Thank you so much. Uh, hey, Ellen. She says, hello, T Quilts and everyone. Oops, I hit a button, y'all. I hope it don't open up something. Hold on. So, yeah, Ellen uh, ordered some uh, kits, too. I put those, everything was in the mail. I packaged everything up because once I got the other orders for the kids i'm like i better keep cutting so i had to i had to stop i said i can't cut anymore so i don't even have any extras i thought i was gonna have extras i was originally cutting some extras and then i had to go back and find more material and everything now when i say find material it just means i got to like unstack some containers okay uh because I got the African fabric everywhere. <laughs> I got some in, I have some in the garage. I got my stash, which is ridiculous. It don't even make no sense. I said, girl, you are not going to use all this fabric. I got the, whatever I bought, like when I've been test buying from other companies, that has never made it into plastic containers. It's still in boxes. So, uh, believe you me, there is plenty of African fabric around here, so... But yeah, so I've been um, doing that. Um, let me see. I looked back to see if my iron was still hot because I'm just yakking and not sewing. And I'm not uh, necessarily trying to get this done before the live today. My goal was to know how many blocks I had and get everything cut. So I'm feeling really good right now with what I have. So I'm gonna put all of these together and just pin the extra pieces. Cause these are those little pieces that have a 
distinctive way they go in the quilt. Whoops. And then I just dropped it, but I think it still is in the right orientation. Let's see. Nope. <laughs> At least I got one to test it against. Okay. I'm going to put a pin in here just so I know. And then another pin and stick it into the board up on top. She talking about, yay, I can't wait to get my kits, too. So, yep. They're coming, girl. They were put in the mail today. So, it should be there. What's today? Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So, maybe Saturday. Hopefully, they'll be there Saturday. Um... Anybody else that ordered kits, they're coming. I mean, I was up here trying to scramble like I was. I gave up one of my kits so I didn't have to cut again. I'm like, uh, if I get any more, I'm going to have to refund money. <laughs> I thought I already had them where they weren't supposed to be taking orders, but apparently I must have not done that. I thought I had it set not to take any orders. So that was that's that was surprising when the orders were coming through on my website. I'm like, I thought I had taken all that off. Now, do you think I went and checked? No, because I'm busy. I don't have time to work with that website right now. It's a lot of stuff that hasn't even made it to the website. So, next thing I need to do, I got a few quilts that are, like, important that need to be done. So, I'm going to do those. And then, I got to make some t-shirts that are needed for the... Uh, that are needed for retreat. So, I'll get those. Okay, so those two are done. Let me pull my sleeve up. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. I don't know why. I just said I was going to put this on here because it contrasts, but let's see. Let's get these other ones off. And then I can try to figure out the best fabric for all of them before I start sewing them all down. Hi, Yolanda, Riza. <laughs> Says, I love the blocks, the blue you're rocking today. Oh, thank you. This color, I think it's called sapphire blue. Maybe it's, you think it's royal blue? <laughs> I think this is royal blue. There is another one that's sapphire. This is not it. That's that's another one. All right, so I got these pieces down here. Yeah, these are the ones that go on next. So right sides up. These right here have distinctive right and left sides, so I need to make sure I take them off in pairs so that's the other thing and i got i should have four but we'll see maybe i got three because yeah i got three because i had the white and then this whoops and i got to look at those this and this is the wrong side so turn it Turn it. I just want to make sure everything is right side up because these are, you have to cut two and then cut two reverse. <laughs> so, yeah. So, let's see. I'm going to have to use some of these. I think this one is a true Ankara, so it's not going to matter as much. 
And try to use the ones that's got the most. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> it's like, yeah, whatever. And stick that up there to get rid of it. So I think you will stand out here. Um, green and orange will stand out there. Um, or would you be better over here? And this one over here and this one over there. Okay, I just need to know what's going on what. So once I take one up, this one it didn't matter. True Ankara. I got some uh, like jacquard prints that are kind of shiny on top and not so shiny on the back or it's like solid like this. It's shiny on the front, but it's not shiny. And then it's even textured on the front, but the back is plain. So some of them I do have to pay attention when I use them. But not that one. I need this one. And use them correctly, because we don't want a seam rip. <laughs> I think I would leave it in here. <laughs> it's like, if somebody find it, more power to you. <laughs> So yeah, I'm glad I'm getting caught up on this. It's like about time. I've been behind for months. Let's see, hi Leetta Bryant. <laughs> Just gotta get the right side. Just remember these are reverses and this one is distinguishable too. So we have them all. So all five of them are getting round number three. And we need all the way up to, no, round number two. And we need up to round number, uh, well, I can press it now, I guess. Um... <laughs> I didn't take out a sample block, but I'm, you know, going on what I, you know, what I think I'm supposed to be doing. So we'll see how long that works. <laughs> I just need to get this one off so I can press them all. So what are you guys working on tonight? Or are you just waiting for a television programs to come on what are you doing let me know all right turn these around and do the other side I, um, oh, I forgot to tell you, I have my round robin done. It's not what I wanted it to be, but it's going anyway, because overall, I really didn't care. But let me show you that. I forgot all about that in the intro. I got to press it with starch. I didn't have time to press anything because I was pressing 30 pieces of fabric to cut out my 
take five kids. <laughs> so I didn't feel like pressing anything else. But in the middle, I, first I was going to do like a round for each round. Like where the teal and yellow is, I was going to do a different fabric. So I would have used three African prints. And then as I kept working, it's like I decided to make it scrappy. So I ended up making it scrappy, but the center isn't scrappy. But it's going to go anyway. And uh, I pressed every last one of these seams open because I didn't know what I was going to do with them at first. So I always try to make the back look as pretty as the front. So I do have to do like a little final press. It is exactly 20 and a half inches, 20 inches finished. So it's the max size. And so I need to get this pressed. And uh, so I have been doing some stuff I need to do to go forward. I have fabric for Dresden Village. So I need to now, oh, uh, it's right here. I'm like, is it still here? Please, Lord, let it be still here. Let's make sure. Yeah. So now I need to see what the first step in, is in Dressed and Village. I hope we don't have to make these many. Yes, that's the first step, making these darn dressed and blocks. It's not kind of what I had in mind. <laughs> I think I might skip and do trees instead or something. I don't know. We'll see. I'll I'll do a Dresden block. And then I have I will do a live in the Facebook group for that. Um so let's see what people are working on. I asked the question. Jason says, Winsleydale. <laughs> yeah. I think we're um that's why you should do a quilt and get it done. But like I said, uh, I have to remember that this quilt was done with a different agenda in mind. It's to use for sewing with Kevin. And I'm just behind on that sewing. Everything that we assigned to ourselves, if I had pre-cut, I would have been able to sew it when we were live. But I did not do that. So it's my own fault that I'm working on Wensleydale outside of sewing with Kevin the quilter. So it is my own fault. You could technically get this done easily. But it was one of those things where we didn't want to be trying to figure out every month what we were going to be sewing on. So that's why we set this up this way. Um, uh, girl, I got a little top here missing. Let me see if I can find a scrap to sew on top. Mm. You'll never know. Okay, I, I cut the end that already had a slit in it. That's why it's in the scraps. Okay. It's like, girl, that is not going to work. We can't have a hole in the quilt. Okay, take all of these off. Except for the one that I need to correct. But I'm going to have to press something and sew. So I don't have to cut my thread. So let's take you. Uh -uh, you need a pressing. This is the one that was on the found on the floor. It was trying to um be sneaky. It's trying to be sneaky. It took under itself. Like I need all of you to be with all of me. Okay. All right. So let's press this that I added this extra fabric onto. And then I'm going to, hmm. Take the template and minus the seam allowance on the bottom. 
So put the same allowance on the line. And then we're going to just draw it with the pen. And that will be my cut line. So I don't have to get my cutting board back out. It doesn't want to do it up there. It's too soft. <laughs> same, same allowance. Just got the little tip to cut off. I was short, like what was going to be in the seam allowance probably, and then like another quarter of an inch or something. Like we don't need holes. We'll take a seam. You won't even see the seam. But we will not take a hole in our quilt. That is just not something we do. You won't even probably see it. All right. Let me cut it. I gotta cut all these little angles they got at the top. All right. All right, so this now goes on here. And it should match right up, and it does. All right. Didn't even know my top was missing. Yep. All right. So that's two. I have to take it off. Um, Dizzy says, I'm quilting the accident landscape of a pic my sister took and going to gift it to her once done so that's really cool I got a, a lion pattern my sister and I are both Leo's and I bought two lion patterns I want to make my sister a quilt a wall hanging like I think you know we'll see what it ends up being Lizette Zayas says she's laying out recovery quilt blocks Melissa's catching up on a block I missed in a quilt long, so that's pretty cool. Spring color, so she's happy. Minnie is tending to eight poodle puppies. Oh my goodness, just cuteness overload, like for real, for real. <laughs> okay, I need to sew this one. Um, who else? Let's see. Uh Carol Williams says, beautiful, thank you. Working on what you are on, ready to put it together. Are you talking about Winsleydale? She's ready to put it together. Yep. Darcy says, that looks great. Thanks, Sharon. Lewis says, very nice. That block is pretty, T. Thank you. And I'll decide when it comes back if I want to take those center, some of those center pieces out and make it scrappy. But I really don't think I care. We'll see when it comes back and if I need to take it out. <laughs> right now, it's a dunner for me. So right now it's a diner. I, I don't know why I I always do that. I do not always. I do that sometimes. I scrap the background so people wouldn't have to worry about trying to match my um background fabric. And then I decided, oh, just go ahead and just make it so that it's um you know, make it easy. Just three fabrics and then you can scrap the background. That'd be a lot of fabrics. And then I do the first round, and then I change my mind. It's like, no, I want it scrappy. <laughs> Just cray cray. <laughs> uh, that star block is super pretty. Thank you, Ellen. Michelle. Holly says she's almost finished with the Biani travel duffel bag. 
to an up for an upcoming retreat. So that's pretty cool. Congrats on your retreat. Lizette's doing a string block. Bonita says pretty round robin center. Thank you. Uh Love that block from Joyce. Thank you. I'm taking a break today, enjoying a hot cup of tea. That's right, girl. Most of the time I'm in here, every time I say, what are you all working on? You the hardest working quilter out there, girl. <laughs> uh, you and Jason be the main ones, uh, like Jason quilting or you doing something. So, yeah, you can take a break. Um... Dorsha is going to be making some heart pillows for when I have my surgery, so that's cool. I I had a surgery, and I received a heart pillow from the uh, hospital. It was the ugliest fabric I'd ever seen in my whole entire life. But because I was a crafter and I knew what it meant, it was, it was the most touching thing. <laughs> it was amazing. <laughs> I was like, somebody made something for me. That's, you know, most people that craft, we don't get stuff made for us too fast. So that was cool. Okay, I should have three on everything. And this is the fourth one on the second round. I am going to be getting off here because it's almost eight o'clock. And again, y'all remember I haven't eaten anything today. I'll make sure I get all of these rounds. To, uh, I had two I started from scratch. I forgot to show them to you when I got them done. But I'll show them, show you all five of what I'm working on. And I got one more round to add. And hopefully what I pick will work. And if it doesn't, it's going to work. Because <laughs> I am not cutting anymore. Uh, I'm cutting the last round. I'm not cutting any more fabric that just because I don't like it next to something else. It's going anyway. It'll just be a block at the bottom or something. Trying to get off all the ones I need to press, which is four. <laughs> and then I'll um, just stay under here a couple more minutes just to get these all done. I got one more piece to sew on four blocks and then press. And we'll be done for today. Joe Carmel is starching and cutting fabrics. Sheila's comment didn't come through. Sue says, hubby's on his way home from the cab and I get to do laundry and unload the truck. <laughs> Have fun! Hi, Till is eight. Um, last piece onto these blocks here for right now. I got the five pieces cut out down here so I don't even have to cut. So when I do come back in here, it's not like I have to cut them. I just got to make sure I don't lose them. So I got pins and stuff on the board. Matter of fact, I'm going to put pins in every thing that's on this board. And then I'm going to put a pin in each one of these blocks or the stack of blocks or something. Because we're not losing another block. Nobody has time for that. I got to go on rest now for my early rise. Good night, everybody. Good night, Ellen. Thank you for coming in the chat, ma'am. Jeff Galoni is here. Hey, Jeff. Welcome, welcome. You're late. <laughs> I'm only messing with Jeff because he's local. You're never late into my chat, in all honesty. Lady Craft says, that's a beautiful block tea. Love it. Good night to any, to everyone. Enjoy the rest of this holy week. That's Diane. That's the other thing I'm working on, too. Stuff for that. I got to... Ah! My thread broke. That's how it bees. And it broke, popped all the way back, too. That's how it bees. When I got things to do... Nobody has time for that. It's like, just stop it. Just stop it. I hope the... No, my bobbin light isn't on right now. I'm hoping it's not trying to... 
run out of bobbin. I think my nails are a little bit too long. I can't get into spots. I got one that broke. So I'm going to be cutting them anyway. Just haven't taken the time to do it yet. Okay. We don't have time, child. We're trying to get out of here so we can eat. I'm starving. Um, two, one more, two more to sew. One in my hand and one on the board. And I'm not even going to worry about the last round. I never intended to finish these on here. I'm like, since they're here and I have them, let's just sew them. <laughs> my goal is to have them done before the 31st is over of March. Okay. Alright, let's press everything and then I can put those up. We're done for today. So we got five little blocks here we're going to press out. And then I'll show them to you and then we're going to be off. So another five minutes or less. Should be off of here definitely before 8 10. <laughs> That's what I say. I haven't read the chat. <laughs> so let's show you these and then I'll read the chat till 8 10. All right. I got a string here. Okay. So this one here, I had like a scrap that I fussy cut the center. It's not quite centered. But it was what I could get out of the fabric. So that one. This one. Just a mix of fabrics. This one, just a mix of fabrics. Uh, another one, mix of fabrics. I don't know what this is. Just something that was in the fabric. I didn't fussy cut it. It just landed there. And last one is the colors, but it, uh, African colors, but it took the gold off in the seam because it's just a little tiny piece. All right. So I got these pieces that go on the next round ready to go. Uh, yeah, we're going to put a pin in it. And I'm on fan. I think that's what's been happening is when I have the fan on high, it's not on high now. I think it knocks my blocks off the board. That's why I think they were down here and I just didn't see them. It, the blocks could be back over there somewhere. So, what time did I start this video? At 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Uh. Jeff says he's drawing out an African block. I've seen sewing together pin cushion getting ready for next week. Uh, oh, and working on making a lot of mindless strings for Scrap Club. <laughs> I wonder where you get that project uh, from. <laughs> Joy Sterling says she's quilting fabric to make a bee bag. To make bee bag. Uh, Tilly says she's sitting. I'm just sitting to work on my pink log cabin quilt blocks good night june Tillis gonna try to be here on wednesdays that, that's probably why you're confused Tillis. on wednesdays i start at 7 p.m central standard time one hour live chat on saturdays just in case i have something to do i'm mostly home most times every once in a while eight o'clock live is when i start on saturdays i go for two hours for live sewing chat but it, i try to make it so that if somebody has uh, something going on I can at least get to that hopefully and then try to get home by eight sometimes it interferes while I just have to cancel the whole live but that's why I do eight o'clock on Saturday nights 
Central Standard Time. Uh, Michelle the Quilter says, have a wonderful and blessed work week, T and everyone. Thank you, thank you. Got busy, will slow down after my birthday. Uh, Michelle, thank you, saying the blocks are pretty. Um, Bonita, Maddie, they say they love the blocks, the African blocks. Uh, I especially like the one with the white background. Awesome blocks, can't wait to see it all together. Oh yeah, that's my favorite out of the five up here now is that one and everybody else is saying good night so i'm gonna go ahead and end here i'll be back saturday night where we can uh you can ask more questions about various stuff hopefully i'll finish up these five blocks on saturday and then i'm gonna start i'm gonna have to do a layout before i come saturday for a t-shirt quilt i need to scroll all of those blocks up but i need to do a layout for them first so i know what size i need and uh, that's what I'm hoping I'm sewing on on Saturday is t-shirt uh, quilt for a uh, commission customer. So I will see you all then. Until then, you all stay blessed. Be safe. Quilt out. Bye, everybody. <laughs>